I wasn't ready. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I was not ready. I was getting a Diet Coke, but now I'm back. <laughs> what was it? Oh, it was a Flaming Baguette 71% chance. <laughs> so I think Flaming Baguette had the best chance and did win. Watching Echo. Yeah, uh, you know, it's funny. We hadn't even heard of Echo. And then one of our daughters asked us if we were going to watch it. And we're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And uh, and we watched the trailer. It looks pretty good. I don't know. Maybe me and Neil will watch it. Um, yeah, happy Wednesday to you too, Flame Baguette. Uh, what a, oh, I worked on a lot of... I, well, I didn't work on a lot of Fry's Quest. I worked on Fry's Quest... Uh, yesterday, um, I got beards in and I got, uh, yeah. And I started on beard color. So, so I'm almost, almost done with player appearance. So that means, uh, what we'll be adding is skin color, glasses, beards, and there's different lengths of beards. Um, and yeah, then we'll have player appearance completely done. That's exciting. That, you know, once again, uh, Fry's quest, quest with a big update. After that, um, I do want to update my Unity version. We'll be updating the Unity version of Unity, which you will not be able to tell any difference probably. I guess I'll have to make sure nothing breaks. Um, what else? Uh, Neil has a few lines to record. I'll have to send those to him so he can record them. And yeah, then I'll start working on classes. I'll probably strike up a conversation on the Discord around how we want to Im implement classes. Um, I definitely, I, what I was thinking of is when you prestige, when you prestige, you, you, you pick your class then. And that is kind of doubles as what are you going to pick? If you're going to pick, keep your weapon, you're going to be a fighter. If you're going to, Pick, keep your gold you're going to be a magic user you pick your armor you're going to be a cleric or something like that i don't know we'll have to talk it over and, and decide what we want to do um anyway yeah that's what i've been up to as always take a break play a game like dig dug off the arcade machine does not have to be dig dug it's odd for dig dug to be there it can be any of the games on that arcade list and if i beat the high score what's your name on the high score list all right, where were we in Pokemon? We we had um, we had beat the third gym, and uh, then oh yeah, and then uh, we had to go uh, up the Tower of Mastery in order to get a ring that will help with Mega Evolution. Um, so, so there we go. <laughs> Whatever Mega Evolution is. Everyone's been saying, oh, Mega Evolution's awesome. And I'm like, it doesn't really sound all that awesome. Okay, I don't remember which way to, to go. Oh, I do remember it now, I believe. No, no, not that way. I think I do remember. It was like this way. Hope everyone's doing well. There's the tower. We will look at the sign. Hour of Mastery. A lot of masters go there. It's like the Masters Academy here in Orlando. Oh, Karina. I mean, the Mega Evolution successor is waiting for you at the top of the tower. Thanks. Hey, Meister. I think you and Serena are going to be I'm going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all traveling together. Yeah, she didn't say anything new. Is this guy going to attack me now? Only those who have been approved may climb the Tower of Mastery. Oh, you're... You may pass. Okay, good. They've had 3D environments in the other games. This is like no different. Pokemon dulling, pulling a Digimon, huh? Have to be. <laughs> You're wrong. 
So do you know the Mega Evolution Guru's real name? It's Gherkin. Thanks. Long, long ago, a trainer came to this land accompanied by a Lucario. They found two strange stones. This is said to have led to the world's first Mega Evolution. Wow. So, so insightful. Going. It's funny because I think the last tower I did in Black 2 was um, each level you were fighting someone. So I was kind of expecting a lot of uh, battles. Mega Evolution is one of the many things a Pokemon is capable of. Pokemon are still treasures even if they don't have a Mega Evolution. Check it! The Mega Evolution Guru is apparently a descendant of the first trainer to evolve Lucario into its Mega Evolution. Wow, check it. That's your common saying. Keep going. We must be at the top. We are not at the top. Since you were kind enough to come clear up here, I want you to have this. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, uh, fighting move. We should see, um, uh, maybe the fact that people think up all these ways to bring out the power of Pokemon is a message to us. To look to all the possibilities everywhere. Okay. Let us... Oh, okay. Just, um... Oh, I didn't even look at it. Power 65. Okay. Only Pollo Loco can learn it. Okay. So it's fighting and it's 65. Okay, we have three... Flying. So ring at wing attack is sixty. Roost, which is a healing. Hey Zab, how's it going? Aerial Ace, which is sixty and always hits. And flying press, which is eighty. So I'm thinking Roost. I mean Roost is nice, but it's not like required. So I'm going to get rid of Bruce. Power up punch. 40. <laughs> Areola ace. That's a different. That's a different move. That's like a uh is it a purple nurple? Just wash the dishes. I did that. Are you fucking Donna Reed? Or do you mean you are Donna Reed? Because that has du double meaning. Anyway, I wash the dishes as well. We do the laundry on the weekends. <laughs> when he was younger, Professor Sac Sic Sycamore trained here to learn about mega evolution, but he decided he didn't have what it takes and left fairly quickly. Wow, rumors on, on Mr. Sycamore. Professor. Alright, it's dead end. Brick wall. Oh, wait. The cameras here are kind of weird. It's funny. Yeah, I thought it was Matt Damon. They did both did it? Okay. <laughs> I really love this place. When I'm here with my Pokemon, looking at the wide open sky above, all my worries disappear. 
Wide open sky above, all my worries. Oh, wait, I already said that. And I feel like I can do anything. How about take me on? Halo. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way up here. I was de uh, decided that this must be the place where the mega ring is handed over. Something about making sure we never forget to set our sights as high as the sky. And here it is, your very own mega ring. Is it the shape of a bracelet? Wait, it's in the shape of a bracelet. Wait, I thought it was a ring. It's a bracelet? So it's super easy to wear. <laughs> Taco flavor kisses. Jay Fry has equipped the mega ring on his left wrist. Give your Pokemon the right mega stone and try battling with it. Your Pokemon will surely answer the call of the Mega Ring. Okay, now, let's see. Um, Lucario, what's wrong? What? Are you sure? You want to battle alongside that trainer? Uh, what? I don't know what to say. I'm a bit shocked that some traveling trainer seems to have a stronger bond with you than I do. <laughs> well, he must be something special. So what do you say, trainer? Will you and Lucario battle against me and my Lucario? A Lucario on Lucario battle. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Oh my god, what did you, what did you just clip? <laughs> did you, did you clip taco flavor geese? Um... Taco, taco, taco burrito. Make a run for the border. <laughs> hey, um, Lucario on Lucario. Okay. It will be nothing short of riveting. They both have L Lucario night in, in hand. How about we get the show on the road? Okay, so this is going to be a, a mega evolution battle. I can feel Lucario's passion. Perhaps it's just that it doesn't want to lose to the other Lucario. That it doesn't want to... Oh, uh, but I, it may be that it's just on the same wavelength. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Why is it... It's all quiet. Ready, Lucario? Let's give it all we got. You are challenged by successor Karina. Oh, I only have one. Metal sound, sword dance, bone rush. Oh, there's a mega evolution button. Should I touch it? It's pulsing. I feel like I should touch it. Do I just like... <laughs> what is he? Is he like uh, a Power Ranger? Furries in Pokemon? There are. This is a furry on furry battle. Oh, okay. Oh. It almost hurt me. Oh, I'm gonna do a power up punch again. What an incredible bond you have. What amazing power. What an explosive battle. 
I could tell that both Mega and Lucario didn't hold anything back. With strong bonds like that, you should have any trouble triggering your Pokemon's Mega Evolution. Garoof. I think it would be best if you took that Lucario along with you on your journey. It's quite apparent that you two make a truly incredible team. Garoof! Garoof! Lucario is uh, staring, staring intently at J-Fries. Will you take Lucario with you? I, I feel like I have no choice. Yeah. Okay, we gotta send someone. Well, what is Lucario? What what type is he? Is he is he water? Y'all said I was gonna get a good water Pokemon. Is he water? Who's low on the on the totem pole? I would say it's either Buzz or Tyrant. I get to see. Oh my god, I already picked him. No! Oh, it didn't even give me a, a, a chance. Oh, he's still fighting? Uh, oh, yeah, does anyone want to name him? I guess we can go switch it out if we want to. Okay. You yeah, all right? So you do think Buzz? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, Zab picked it first. All right, Zab. What do you want to name it? Tyrant is a. Uh, what was his name? I don't remember his name either. We'll have to look here in a second. You made homemade chili today. That does sound good because it's it's cold. It's cold here in Florida. It's currently what is it? Fifty degrees. It's fifty degrees. I don't know what that is in either your Canadian Celsius degrees. <laughs> All right, Fenga. Is there a? Oh, and the tea. F A N G D A G D A Fanga. Twenty nine and snow. Wow. Ten. Ten. Fifty is ten. ten Celsius. All right, Fanga. Not space. It's weird they have the enter key up here. As long as Pokemon and trainers have the kindness to care for each other and give each other courage, the world will be full of smiles. <laughs> There's a steel company from Asia named Fangda, Fang, Fangda, which felt right. Okay. There you go. Oh, of snow. All right. So what is he? He's level 32, huh? What was that? Pokemon hat. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm rearranging my Pokemon. Oh, Neil's going to get it for me. <laughs> that you're gonna cram it on my head for a second. Oh, you have a headset on. He's very solid. Hey, pass. I did get him. I just got him. Hello. Pokemon game tier list. Oh, I uh, should have tuned in. They all they all go on the bottom tier. The all oh, yeah. If Neil did a tier list of Pokemon games, they would all be in F tier. Yeah. Or whatever the lowest tier is. 
not S tier. <laughs> yeah, never change, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> His his uh, his love of Pokemon knows no bound. Are you ice skating? What the hell are you doing? I am rollerblading, Neil. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of annoying because it moves too fast, and and I sit here and bump into things constantly. All right, well we have we have Mega Evolution. One day they're gonna like make me play one of these. Oh my goodness, no! For you, like I play it instead. No, I will not do that to you. <laughs> I have never ice skated or rollerbladed ever in my life. I have, and I feel like it with I, I would hurt myself. I have done both now. Uh, I'm not very good at it. Um, oh, well, on ice skates, I couldn't tell myself. Uh, I had to, like, pull myself around on the railing around the ice rail. But my 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 ankles didn't bend. But it's been years and years. Yeah. Uh, we rented rollerblades down at the beach. And I was okay, but, like, when you get, like, to the brakes and the sidewalk, that was hard for me. I had been given something. Maybe not. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it's a mega stone. Have Venusaur hold it, and the stone will enable it to mega evolve during battle. But I don't have a Venusaur. Right? I'm not sure what a Venusaur is. <laughs> So now I've got to find these stones. Where's Pyrot? Is he a Venusaur? No, Tyrant is a Tyrant. Got it. Oh wait! Uh, Jacques is a Venusaur. Yeah, okay. I do. Hey, you Pikachu. <laughs> Oh, you can talk to Pikachu, Neil. Don't you want to talk to Pikachu? Do what now? <laughs> you you can talk to, to Pikachu. It's a game called Hey You Pikachu for the N64. <laughs> Fuck you, Pikachu. Is that what you would say to Pikachu? I, I doubt it. I don't know what I would say to Pikachu. Yeah. Wait, I have another one. I have an Aerodactyl. Do I have an Aerodactyl? <laughs> I'll donate $100,000 to Starlight to make me play a Pokemon. <laughs> you did what? Dab, put in. If, uh, if, if I win the lottery, I'll uh, donate $100,000 to Starlight to make Neil play a Pokemon all the way through. <laughs> all the way through. There you go. Because the bond between a Pokemon and Neil would bring smiles to so many people. It would be like uh, if they had Conan O'Brien play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it probably would be. Yes, I do, and so he can now mega evolve. No wonder we kept shock. All right, maybe we need to go. My husband plays. There you go. That'll be our YouTube channel. You, Neil plays games he doesn't like. So it's everything for Fallout. The series only has one episode. <laughs> I mean, I like more than 
fall out. I know. I was just joking. I was joking. Checking my my potions. Let's go get some more potions and pokeballs. There, there it is, yeah. Um, let's see. I liked the Mass Effect games. Um, I played a lot of Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas. Good. Um, I played the, the South Park games. Oh, that's right. You played the South Park. He did play the South Park games. He's, he's, I, the only reason I know some of the South Park stuff is because of him. Like I don't know that much South Park. I played a I played like over three hundred hours of Fallout Four. Like the whole uh, taco flavor kisses is because of Neil. I had to watch that episode because of Neil, and I had I didn't know it. Oh, Mass Effect! He has played all the Mass Effect games. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Well, and I played that uh, the bad one. I didn't finish it though. Yeah. Andromeda. It's on the list. The next uh, Mass Effect game. That should, I'm that should play. be the that should be the worst game Wednesday. <laughs> Just take too long. Uh, I did City Skylines for a while. Uh, I did the outer. I liked the Outer Worlds. That was fun. Um, uh, you had. Um, I did some of the Saints Row. You Road had games. Uh, several uh, minutes of gameplay in genital jousting. Is what he told me there, the other there, day. Twenty-eight, I think. Twenty-eight minutes. Of genital jousting. Yeah, it was not very fun. It wasn't for you. It's thirty-two minutes. Thirty-two minutes of genital jousting. Sort of annoying. Oh <laughs> no, we didn't. We're we're just t talking about the games Neil played, has played. I I played some of a of Far Cry Five. But it would there was a th an effect that they would use in the game that made me nauseous, so it yeah, so he's it. not playing. Did you play any of uh, GTA? Uh, <laughs> I did. I tried to play. I tried to play GTA Five on computer, and it was impossible to drive with the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I was like. For a game where you're stealing cars, this is the worst driving dynamic I've ever seen. <laughs> hey neighbor, you should use this. Is it is it Spectrum? I'm used to I'm used to the worst internet being Spectrum. Yeah. That's what yeah, that's what we have. Comcast Xfinity. It's Comtastic. <laughs> I don't think they use that anymore, yeah. but I remember seeing having Comcast and them putting ads about it being Comcastic, and I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, Snorlax can learn swim? I mean, surf? Holy shit, yeah. Fantastic. That's that's a whole different. That's a different thing. Oh, that's right. I had played No Sky for. A while. I think everyone played No Man's Sky, Sky for but like you ten play, minutes. Yeah, we played No Man's Sky for a while. Um, and of course, you know, it takes two. Both me and Neil played that on stream. We played that on stream. Yeah. <laughs> Those good water type Pokemon, of course. Uh, yeah. So we got to figure out what he's going to get rid of. The surf's a good, just a good, it's an 80 power. Oh, wait, no, that's not surf. It's a 90 power, 100% accuracy move. I love surf. I think I've had surf in every, in every game. I'm just happy that he gets a water move. Um, well, we can't get rid of strength. And I don't think we can get rid of rock smash either, right? Or can we? I don't remember. 
Uh, I mean, we could get, we have two fighting Pokemon. We could get rid of that. 40, 85. And we have Lick. It's nice to have a ghost one, even though it's not that powerful. I'm going to say Rock Smash, even though that's an HM. I don't know if it's going to let us get rid of it. What do you think? Rock Smash? What do you think? Broken Clock Mate. Uh, boss. Which one are you talking about? Body Slam. I guess Body Slam is kind of, but it's at 85. That's why. Uh, and it could leave the target with paralysis. It's a good move. It's 85 damage, where like Rock Smash is only 40. Although it does lower their defensive stat. And it, well, it shatters rocks. That's why uh, we can always give that to someone else. And I have two other fighting Pokemon, so he doesn't need a fighting move. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's what I'm thinking that too. You're overruled. I'm just glad it allows me to do that. Remember, you had to have a move deleter and all that shit. All right. I love it. I love surf. I was kind of upset that I didn't have a water move. I didn't have a water Pokemon. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very happy right now. This kind Laparis here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad though. I can't uh, afford to travel around and show it wide world beyond these parts. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got a rumble badge. You must be a strong and seasoned trainer. Would you mind taking Laparis with you on a journey? No, I don't want that. Looks like your party is already full a fine bunch of Pokemon. If you want to take Laparis with you, free up a spot. Okay. No, I don't. Azure Bay. Everything including life comes in from the great ocean. Great. Great. I can't wait to see us. Now it makes sense. <gasps> no. I, what? A, no. We need to see a giant Snorlax. And we're all like laying on the Snorlax. This is very upsetting to me. Is that how you say it? Lapras? I don't know. I don't know even what a Lapras is. No, let me, I only know him by, by L-A-P-R-A-S. Oh yeah, that thing. No, I had one at one point. It's like a Loch Ness monster creature. Yeah, leprosy? <laughs> no, not leprosy. Do not like that. A quillfish. Oh. So can I just do Mega Evolution as much as I want? Oh, I see. I can't do Mega Evolution. Oh, no, wait. There's Mega Evolution. Can I just do it? Do it. Why wouldn't you just always do one Pokemon per battle? Oh, okay. But other than that, it's much as you want. Okay. Okay. And he stays evolved, right? So, like, I could do it right now. Well, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I'm gonna find with him the death. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh every time. I wanna see what he looks like, too. He didn't look much different. He's got a little crown on. expected the uh, mega evolution to be cool.
to sleep talk. While it is asleep, it uses it. You, the user randomly uses one of the moves it knows. Wow, there is a whole like like if you know all of the I didn't know like uh, Snorlax is so powerful while he's sleeping. Gary, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, it just doesn't look very cool. I wanted, like, flames. He should have, like, flames. He's mega, he's mega evolved. Flames, flames, flames on the sides of my face. On the sides of my face. Pokemon that can really take advantage of being asleep. Exactly. I know why he's the face of Pokemon sleep now. Has, has, have, have any of y'all used Pokemon sleep at all? I am not using an emulator. Snorlax sounds like an overnight laxative. <laughs> no, I have, um, I have a, uh, it's a soft modded 3DS. So I've gone in and, and soft modded, changed the operating system so that it can uh, wirelessly send the screens to my PC and then I'm capturing it. But no, we're playing it on original hardware. Ask your doctor if Snorlax is right for you. <laughs> If you've been Snorlax for more than four hours, see a doctor. Yeah, so we're riding on Snorlax. I thought this was going to be more exciting. Listen to podcasts while sleeping. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you learn stuff while you're sleeping in the podcast display? Oh wait, we don't want to be... Why did I... Oh, that's right. I start with, with him. And then I switch out to Jacques. Go, Jacques. Uh... That's also why I'm looking down because I'm looking at the 3DS. If I had it on the PC, I would be looking over here. <laughs> You're listening to the complete works of Sherlock Holmes. So no. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd hit play. Come, uh, Mr. Watson. And then I'd be asleep. I use, I have a CPAP, and so I turn my CPAP on, and I'm out. Is this a, this is yeah, a... Yeah, he becomes the Snorlax. I do become the Snorlax. This is this was a wild one, right? Yeah. So we could capture it. Ooh, oh, it's a not. jellyfish floating through the yeah. air. I I didn't think about this. I should have stayed with Snorlax, and then hit it, and then captured it. I wasn't thinking it through. Oh wait, we can't go that way. Out of my way. Wait, there. Oh, there's. Yeah. <laughs> I could. How are we rollerblading on the sand? I grew tired of the city life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anywhere in particular. There you go. So the 3DS doesn't have a capture card. It's he not a capture a, card. He has soft modded and yeah. wirelessly sends the signal to the computer, I think. Yeah, that's correct. You're not even using a capture. Yeah, the, well, you'll see a cable. The cable's actually the audio cable that's going into the, to the audio jack because the, um, the software only captures the video, not the audio. Um, but yeah, you can look, uh, look for soft mod 3DS on YouTube. And it is now, you have to unscrew the back 
there's a there's a memory card right here on the 3ds and you have to pop it out do stuff on your pc uh put it on there there's there it it's a thing so it's not it's not for the the uh you have to be tech savvy <laughs> in order to do it but it's not hard it, it wasn't hard um and it, yeah i've i this is the third third 3ds game um, another thing that it allows you to do is export DS games. It only works on 3DS games. It does not work on DS games. Um, because when you put a DS game into the 3DS, it boots into the DS, uh, uh, the DS uh, operating system, and therefore it's not soft modded anymore. But um, what you can do is you can export the DS ROM the memory card and pop it out so i do that a lot if i'm playing yeah boot ntr that's correct that's what it is yeah and then it's called snicker stream oh i guess that's a, that would be a good thing to look for is snicker stream uh because that's what you run on your pc and it basically is connected that is it but then I use, when I export the DS ROMs, I am emulating that. I have not found a good way to play DS games on the original hardware. And I use the, was it the Des, Desum, Desmumi emulator for that? Okay, we're being attacked by some sort of uh, skunk. Probably a mongoose. So we're gonna use body slam because uh, he wanted me to get rid of it. It's capturing the 3DS audio. I don't know commentary. Well, there's um, OBS is capturing two separate. Like this is my mic audio. This is uh, this audio is going into my PC and just capturing it in OBS as a separate input. Yeah. Yeah, so I have multiple inputs. Yeah, my mic is, what's that, USB. Your strength. It's a favorite one. It has a back, that, that has a backstory? Why didn't, why didn't strength work? Why is it spitting dirt in my face? Every Pokemon has a backstory. The only one I really know about is Cabone. Where it's like its mom's skull that it's wearing on its head. <laughs> I think it's ad quote all one together. I hate the rollerblades. Bottomer Ranch. Da, da, da. Cubone. Okay, Cubone. <laughs> what is this? What is? This? What are these? Oh my God! I'm riding it. Oh my God! I'm riding it. That was exciting. <laughs> there you go. Who are these people? I love Skiddo or Skidoo so much. I feel like I've been hit with an attract move. <laughs> Here, take this TM so you can see how I feel. Is it attract? Oh, you should be attract. That's nice. I don't really like a tract, but thank you. I think it should not have a gender uh, thing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm writing it. <laughs> you can't pick items up from the ground while on the back of a skidoo. It would be poor manners after all. Whatever. 
They didn't make that many houses. It, this, <laughs> you go into the, the... All their houses look the same. They needed to diversify that. Make that a little bit different. Well, can I take take the skidoo? Can I leave with it? They know I can't. Why is this one over here? Why is he sad? It's sleeping. I see. Oh wait, can I just hop there? Can, and now I'm wearing it. Oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> I just wanted to get that Pokeball. A shiny stone. I don't remember what the shiny stone does. Shiny stone. <laughs> Probably a little bit too much. particular stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. There you go. It's an evolutionary stone. I guess this is it. the point oh here we go yes oh but they won't let me do anything while I'm on it oh can I just get off of it I guess yeah. <laughs> I essentially stole it though I thought it said a yo mama. Yeah, that looks like a bug. Um. Go, Poyo Loco. funny how I get raided a lot while I'm fighting. It's like always when I'm in a battle. <laughs> Welcome everybody, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I hope y'all are having an, uh, a great evening. Or in the blind forest, nice, nice. Well, we're playing Pokemon. The, the reason it happens when you're fighting is that's the most boring part of well, Pokemon. Uh, well, I fight a lot in the game, so it's like probably percentage of time I'm actually fighting so, so people is rate probably us, pretty high. So people rate us so there's something interesting happening. <laughs> I'm fine. So, so that's the voice of my husband, Neil. <laughs> He's not a big Pokemon fan. Um, but we're playing Pokemon X on the 3DS. Uh, playing it on... It's always cool to see it on the screen and on my screen at the same time. But we're playing it on original hardware and using a, it's a soft modded 3ds to send it to the to the pc so i play a lot of retro variety game i play a lot of <laughs> retro games and i try to play them on original hardware when i can so yeah I, th I think it's cool too this is only the third game i've done this but uh it, the only problem is is like normally when i'm playing games it's on this monitor right here and so this is what i look like like, like, soon we're going to play a, a, a Wii game. This is me playing a game. And now here's me playing a 3DS game. <laughs> so, and especially wearing my Pokemon trainer cap, you don't see my face. <laughs> but it's okay. I try to look up at the, uh, look up, up at the camera every once in a while. 
Well, thanks. Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. So, uh, this is my stream. <laughs> but let's uh, we'll play a clip real quick uh, from Night the Undying, and y'all should go check him out. I have this. Oh. Snuggle. I have this. I have a squirrel and a Charmander. I was gonna say. Oh wait. Oh, oh a squirrel. Oh, I, th I thought she said yeah, Squirtle. Yeah, get it, Charmander. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, <God. Fearless. laughs> yeah, Is that from yeah, last Charmander week? Yeah, you little be fucked by a bear. You're, you're all kinds of furry. I'm a little there. bit of furry, yeah. <laughs> Charmander, no. Charmander. Charmander, char. <laughs> I also have a Squirtle over here. I have literally, I have all the starters. I have, well, apparently Squirtle is Squirtle is uh, yeah. see through. He's got uh, some green, green screen problems. Really Bulbasaur is hanging out with really my plants. I upset really quickly. Don't be upset. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, oh, here, let's turn the music back on. Well, you can kind of see, like, I have a menagerie back there on the, on the couch. And so, oh no, the PS fell on the ground. Oh my God, that music sounds like something from a department store. It's yeah, it's because the the headphone jack came out, so yeah, he was hearing the music and he's going crazy. The the Pokemon music is terrible. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds like the music in a department store. Right, yeah, <laughs> you know which one I got. But I well, so my when I played Red, so the first Pokemon game I played was Red, and so Black. Uh, yeah, I did Squirtle. He eventually became a Blastoise, and so this is my favorite one. And we have, and his name is Barney. So we have exclamation mark Barney in the chat. And then, and then I had an Embor. Aren't y'all proud that I'm, I remember these? And sorry, the ads play. And of course, Snorlax, which Snorlax is in my party now. <laughs> I did Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle was my starter there. I said it correct. Is that better? <laughs> Anyway, welcome. Thank you, everyone, who are sticking around. Sorry the ads are playing and you're not hearing me. So. I'm very happy y'all are here. I'm <laughs> not judging. <laughs> you went Bulbasaur? Well, now I have a Bulbasaur, and so I've been uh, learning the, the how cool it is, actually. It's been really good. Yeah, so in this game, you get two. You get, and I, I picked uh, Finnegan, and I don't know what it is now. Um, a Mothim. Okay, we'll switch to Izzy. Who's the Finnegan? Burns. Delphox? Thank you. She just evolved, so. Um, flame charge. But yeah, I've I've been enjoying uh, playing it. All right, well, thank you so much for the raid night, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for if you need to lurk, no problem. I totally understand. When you raid, you're done streaming. <laughs> you're probably doing something. I'm usually going to bed or or dinner on Saturday. All right, a whirlipede or keep out. Oh yeah, the Whirlipede. I remember the Whirlipede. It's cool seeing it in 3D though. Oh 
Oh, it has. Oh, it must have had uh, uh, the Roly Poly. It's Mystical Fire. That's probably Overkill. It protected itself. gone and stirred up the hive it's weird that the like the trainers are all 2d okay did we oh I see okay what is going on there? what's going on there I guess it's saying you can't go past that way with this guy I always do all the trainers because this is the this is the the grinding part of Pokemon is taking off on all these things. It's a snake. Snake, snake. Can I just surf the snake away? Got to do all the trainers too. First you do Squirtle, then you got to do all of the trainers. I battle all the trainers because you gotta grind. And by grind, I mean gain experience points. <laughs> and, and get the money too, yeah. I mean, I learned that early. I mean, like when I played Red, I like zipped through everything, and then, and then I was way under leveled for the for the final four. Oh no, a milk tank. What's a milk tank besides a cow? Fifty bucks? No, that's a can opener. Um. Trying to decide what would be best. Uh, let's switch Pokemon. It's normal? Okay. So let's bring out... You're dead. You're dead. No, uh, if it's normal, then Poyo Loco would be good. Poyo Loco! I don't... The milk tank. Look at the milk tank, Neil. What is your feeling on that? That's gross. It, it, you know, it shoots milk out of us. God. Well, first of all, it has like the face of a deer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pee pee poo poo. How's it going? Look at some titties. <laughs> I know. I, I need to cover those up on stream. He shot rock. It shot rocks out of its. Out of its nipples? Out of its udder. Udders? That's utterly ridiculous. Uh. The physics of the milkers. Yeah, it looked like it was in slow mo there. <laughs> they move. They move like a jellyfish floating in water. So you know how they had to do that, right? So they. <laughs> so, so, do you all know how? It, Video game animation works, right? There's a skeleton in the animation, and then each of, all the geometry is tied to the bone the bone structure, and so you animate the bones, and then it, it moves that. So they had to have on the skeleton they had to have those coming out of the skeleton so that they could move up and down and they could animate them. It's true. <laughs> Exactly. If you think about how what they had to do to animate that, you go, mm, okay. Uh, let's see. Forget. Quick guard. Oh, this is the new guy. Uh, use protect itself and its allies from priority moves. Mm, doesn't 
sound all that great. Alright, I'm just gonna not worry about the guard. <laughs> Based on your drone structure? It's true. I guess that's how, you know. Uh, keep all moves. Wow, she had a lot of money. 1800 Pokebucks. Alright, let's get back on our, our steed. Our mighty steed. Alright, I fought you already. We didn't fight you. I'd like to bury my face in the fur around... What? Around uh, Turos's neck and take a big whiff of its scent. What the hell? Is this a... Is he a furry? I mean... <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> is that... Is that the little thing I've been writing? Yeah, to get my dude. <laughs> is that is that the thing I'm writing? He's a breeder. Oh. Uh it's a it's it's a jinx for battle, I hear. Is he a breeder? No. Oh, he is a breeder. In the gay community we have a we we, we have a, we use breeder differently. <laughs> That maybe makes it worse. <laughs> I'm riding a skidoo. That's right. So which one is he? Ta what was he talking about? Oh my goodness. I didn't even see what I'm fighting. Is it that? That's what he's talking about? Oh, Taurus is the ox one. That's right. With the big horns. Yes, yes. Okay, this one is... Uh, um... Ziggy Stardust Pokemon. I don't remember what he is. Is he lightning? He's got lightning bolts in his fur. He's normal. Okay. Well, I've almost... It's not so big deal. So much learning of new moves. Endeavor. I remember Endeavor being terrible. An attack move that cuts down the target's HP to equal to the user's HP. Well, that actually sounds awesome. An attack move that cuts down the target's HP to equal the user's HP. Oh, okay. So, like, if I have one hit point left. You, you use Endeavor, and they will have one hit point left. Wow. Okay. That sounds shitty. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. If you're in a pinch, you gotta... What's the accuracy? Okay, the accuracy is 100. Uh, let's see. What does Poyo Loco have? Uh, he has Wing Attack and Aerial Ace. Low sweep. What's low sweep? 65. Uh, and flying press. That's a pretty good move. Huh. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think maybe just forget it. What is y'all's opinion? Y'all. What computer am I using? It Regular PC. <laughs> Actually, you can go look. You know where you can go look? Go look in my about. 
and there is a uh, there's a graphic there. If you click on my setup, there's a graphic of everything I use on my about on Twitch. Skip, you never use it. I was gonna say I think I've had it before, and I never used it. I swear I've had this move before. I'm gonna hit kill everything. That's kind of what I do too. Oh my god! Oh my god! This game would be so much shorter if I didn't always have to update my moves. Uh, send in Taurus. Uh, let's switch to Fangda. We haven't really used him. Yeah, that's exactly what I am using. Yeah, Snicker Stream is what I'm using on the PC. Yeah, there. So there it is. There's. That's the one he was talking about. Okay, so we have Power Up Punch. Yeah. But what if I... Mecha Evolution! Yeah, this is well. This is the one. This is the one he wanted to snip. Was this one? This this Pokemon. Boom! Super effective. <laughs> oh, that's right. A jinx is something that brings you bad luck. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, we're going to get back on this thing. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go any further, though. Save. <laughs> this music. All right. We are going to... Yes, I have. I have been. Hey, Limit Square. I have been mega evolving. <laughs> Speaking of mega evolution, let's play Fry's Quest. <laughs> Here, let me turn off the crazy music. Exclamation mark join if you'd like to play some Fry's Quest. Uh, if you don't know what Fry's Quest is, it's basically a Twitch chat RPG that I built. And that's what we use when I'm going to take a quick break and use the bathroom to get more Diet Coke. And uh, if you want more information, risequest.com. And you can see all the, the commands and stuff like that. Hey, RK okay, Bear. Not yet. It's not, not integrated yet. But soon. Uh, very soon. I'm ready. Yeah, if you go... If you go over to the Discord, you can see some pictures. Uh, when I finish when I finish the uh, beard coloring, uh, I will I will release all the new changes. So that would be skin color, glasses, beards, and there's three lengths of beards: short, medium, and long. Actually, I think I said <laughs> short, long, and extra long. Ah, oh, sorry, RK Bear. Does he live uh, close by? Are y'all in the same city? Those monsters stole me lucky charms. I don't think he watches Twitch. He's like 15. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that. Me and Neil lived uh, along a 12 hour drive away. <laughs> don't you know who my husband is? Get out of here. <laughs> Was it 700 miles? Wow. All right. I am going to take. A quick break. We should stream his costume and prop build. Totally. That is totally a thing that would be streamable. Or he could 
record it and edit it and put it on on YouTube. That'd probably be a good a good thing to to do. Yeah. yeah. I could just stream my complaints about working. Your streams, yeah, you could do that. Just you could have an alternate stream that's going on at this. Uh, I feel like during it would, my stream. I feel like I would play out there. It would, yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't. You'd run out I of things to talk about. Yeah, I couldn't sustain it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. See you in a second. Welcome to Neil's Deals. We're fresh out of lore. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Those monsters stole me lucky charms. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for action.
I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow in the knee. Today only. 2% off when you spend 10,000 or more. I'm ready. Let's go. This store reeks of capitalism. Ready for battle. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Those where's monsters throw me lucky If I find out this gold is fake, iron golems will be the ready least of your battle. problems.
Ready for battle. Today is a good day to fry. Ready and for fun. action. Storm in the castle. Clay monsters are close enough to iron. <laughs> do they? I can't remember what the clay mon. They probably do quite a bit of damage as well. Hey, thank you. Oh yeah, thirty. That's pretty high. Yeah, clay does sound pretty bad. <laughs> Got the golems out. Of course, the platinum dragon's pretty badass. Switch it every time you proceed, or would it place this? Well, um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier is we kind of have to decide what we want to do there. I was thinking that it would replace that selection somehow. And maybe what you retain would depend on what you, like, decided as your new class. It's kind of what I was saying. So maybe if you if you if you decided to stay a fighter, you would you would uh, keep level one, or you would keep sorry, you would keep your weapon, and if you if you maybe became a cleric, you keep your armor, and maybe if you became a magic user, you would keep your gold or something like that, where it makes sense what you're keeping with what your class is becoming. Maybe I don't know. That's a good question. I haven't decided what <laughs> how we're gonna do that. It's kind of difficult because the interface is kind of limiting, right? It's it's only what we have. Uh, it's chat. You need to be a healer. <laughs> so. A paladin? Oh, so make, make it a... Pa oh, yeah, that's right. Paladins were fighters who could heal, right? So. <laughs> You're all wizard, flaming baguette. <laughs> The <laughs>
Book slap. Book slap got it. What was Book Slap's chance of getting it? 20%. There you go. It looks like it was pre pretty. Chaizu was 28. There you go. <laughs> All right. Dark Passenger leveled up. Level 7. All right. Anyone else need to level up? Are we good? Guess we're good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to getting all the player customization done. I think that'll be nice. All right, let's get back to Okay Moan. I was just gonna start with Wizard and Cleric. And then obviously keep the the fighter class, which is kind of what we already have. Okay, I guess this is it. This is as far as I can go on this creature. Yeah. Oh, arcade mode. Lemon Square wants us to play some arcade. Oh, shit. Get off that thing. Wants us to play some. What do you want me to play? I don't like how I rollerblade on the. Uh, we don't have Rock Smash anymore. Da da da. Pie Pie. Let's play some Pie Pie. All right, let me finish this this battle. Go. I haven't played Pie Pie in a while. I used to love Pie Pie. I think I had it. You know, we were talking about what what games did I have on my ColecoVision when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I had Pie Pie on my ColecoVision. Oh no, a Magikarp. What am I going to do? <laughs> Let's body slam it. <laughs> Magikarp is a grower, not a shower. Yeah. Another one. Well, we'll keep battling. Uh, what? Coleco. Oh, Coleco. Yeah. Uh, Coleco is kind of a. Uh, 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 an old console from the '80s. And I'm gonna I'm gonna link you to the Wikipedia page. That's how it's spelled. Coleco with a C. That's why I was confused for a second. I had Ladybug, I had Zaxxon. So a lot of the a lot of the con the uh, arcade games that I have on my arcade cabinet I had on the ColecoVision. I like how it's Fisherman Murray. Did you see that it's Fisherman Murray? Play me back And he's got all magic heart. Yeah, Palika Vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. was cool. My six was <laughs> Exactly. I just think it's fi funny to jump on him. <laughs> Love a good splash. Ah. I'm sure he'll 
VOD this and see it. Have we killed all of them now? Oh my god, how many does he have? Train them to jump as high as possible. Body slam it again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't have lost so badly if I just released sooner. save. <laughs> ah, I'm sitting on my leg. Hold on. All right. Lemon Square 16 wants us to play Pie Pie in Arcade Mode! That again, Neil? I said Popeye is the strangest video game thing ever. Yeah. It was... Um, it was like the worst uh, cartoon. Then, uh, is it okay? Why don't you just put it on top of your computer? Oh, yeah, I guess I could. The 3DS fell again. It was uh it was the worst cartoon. Oh, Popeye? Yeah. It was a terrible movie. Oh, you didn't like the movie? No, no, not really. <laughs> Why didn't you like the cartoon? Cuz it was just like some kind of gimmick to make you want spinach and like I I didn't <laughs> want any damn spinach. It was a gimmick to have you want to eat spinach. All right, well, that's the high score we're trying to beat. And little known fact, this is, uh, this is a Nintendo game. And it was my understanding that uh, instead of when they did Donkey Kong, they wanted originally to license Popeye originally. Because the Japanese know nothing about American culture. <laughs> right. <laughs> Conspiracy from Big Spinach. That's exactly it. <laughs> Damn Big Spinach. All right. Well, that's the high score we're trying to beat. 28, 480. Let me make sure. Yeah, 28, 4, 480. All right. Well, let's try it. Oh, I should, I should explain. Basically, uh, you're trying to collect all the hearts from olive oil before they hit the water. And uh, Brutus, you can't get hit at all. You can't touch him. So you have to kind of run away from him. The only time you can, and he reaches down too, so you have to be careful of that. The only time you can hit him is if you get the spinach. And then uh, then he runs away from you, of course. And then uh, you're gonna catch him. Then you catch him and then he flies off the screen. But he needs to get that heart at the bottom or you will die if, if that happens too. So anyway, that's bye bye, let's play. Thank you. 
go. Hey, Redstone. How's it going? Eighteen three fifty. Doing good, good. Well, welcome, welcome. We're playing, currently playing a game off the arcade machine, Popeye. Uh, so yeah, I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> so eighteen three fifty is not too bad. It's not close to twenty eight four eighty, but uh, you know, I I definitely think I have to pass. I think I have to get well into the third level in order to beat that score twenty eight four eighty. So all right, let's try it again. Thank you. 
one note left. I was hoping that the spinach would come down before he got to me. I was going to try and do this big kind of thing. <laughs> oh, well. All right. At least I got to the third level this time. All right, let's try it. Uh, let's try a third time. That was it! Oh my goodness, I did terrible! I did terrible that round. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's try one more time.
you can. Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit that punching bag and get the bucket to fall on his head. on me oh, God. oh man I can't believe I got they got that punch right as the song ended that was so close <laughs> yeah from more than yeah I know you only see him from that angle don't you <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed it lemon square I didn't beat it but I haven't played that one in a while. I almost played it the other day because it was on the on the screen. And then I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, it, I, it was fun playing it. Turn back on the Pokemon. All right. I guess this this is all shallow. Oh, I guess we can't go into deep water? Who's the old woman? Yeah, I can't remember. Neil, do you remember who the old woman is? Like Hagrid the Witch or something like that? In Pi Pi. But we couldn't Harry. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. You're thinking of Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, it's about the goon. Yeah, no, not olive oil. Yeah, yeah. It's like she was throwing uh, beer bottles at me. There's like the goon. I remember that. Shelly Duvall. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Alice the goon is a man. Is a man, baby. This book slap. This is a wild tentacle, so. Shelly Duvall. Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Hello, hello, hello. Really? Really. <laughs> it's not related to Robert Duvall. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a shark. Hello, going to fall. I know I get that stuck in my head. Ground ball. I shouldn't have said it. Oh, it confused me. Jacques became confused. Oh, that's right. There was Eugene the Jeep. Well, I remember it's, Wimpy. Wimpy was there always was this, asking there for was a hamburger. The, the Sea Hag. The Sea Hag. I think that's it. It was the Sea Hag. Alice the Goon. 
Uh, Alice the Goon is a woman, a monstrous creature who entered the strip as the Sea Hag's henchwoman. Okay. And continued as Sweet Pea's babysitter. I don't either. I didn't really kind of pay attention to Popeye. Wasn't a big Popeye fan. Well, it had been a comic strip first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Evidently, it had been much more complex uh, and funny when the original artist was doing it, but he died in 1938. Oh, wow. I just remember that all of Olive Oil's relatives were some kind of oil, like castor oil, castor oil and, or yeah. diesel oil. <laughs> yeah. Skorelp. Smoking also good. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying in the uh, on the screen. Yep, right there. Yeah. A Wilmer. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Mega Evolution. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Want to see some cool water illusions? I'm a pro when it comes to water. It's funny how this stuff hasn't changed. It's a slowpoke. I don't think a slowpoke was water. I thought he was just like normal. Although he's nothing like he's nothing <laughs> normal. Oh, I guess he is water. There you go. Man, the somebody more you know. Somebody really wants my uh, your Facebook. My Facebook. They keep they keep keep trying to get keep your trying password. to get it. Trying to get it. You should, I don't know if you can report that to Facebook. Uh, it they have a thing that says let us know. Yeah. And I click it. You know, that's kind. Of yeah, I was surprised when Hodor could could learn swim. I assume he's swimming. He's not really walking on water. I've seen a Snorlax, uh, like, pool floaty, so I assume it's like that. Yeah, I won't do anything until it's too late. That's true. Facebook. Meta. I was like, why can't I move? 
Oh, there's stuff way out here. Where are we? Oh. Sea Spirit's Den, a pit in the shallows of Azure Bay, thought to have been born of an ancient outpouring of energy. I guess we'll just keep going this way. Why not? Do you have the Mega Ring? Is that what the stone is reacting to? I see. Then you should take this with you. Ooh. Ambrosite. If Karina and the Mega Evolution Guru have recognized your skill as a Pokemon trainer, I'm sure you can master the power of your bond with your Pokemon and that Mega Stone. What one was that? Be <laughs> exactly. Yeah. True. And and Barosite. And Barros. I don't think I have that. Oh no. Oh no. They're going to stop. They're discontinuing fruit stripe gum. <laughs> Oh no. Another Gen X. <laughs> yep. No more. I I feel like that was pre Gen X though. Uh well, I mean it's been discontinued after fifty years. That's yeah. Pretty Gen X. Oh, yeah, nineteen six. What was that again? It came out in nineteen six. I, I, nineteen sixty nine. Got it. 1969. Got it. And it had been, you know, sold around. Odor beat up a, a crustacean. Well, I won't buy any more Rocher because people, yeah, they're the ones who are canceling. No kids will be able to steal a pack of fruit stripe gum from the Safeway like I did yeah, when I was. When you were, how old a, were you when you did I was that? a toddler. Yeah. I was like four. <laughs> yeah, when Neil was four, he was a thief. Thief, I tell you. Uh, my mom dragged me back in and made me apologize to the manager. I tried to have her, uh, have him uh, call the sheriff's department to send a deputy out to arrest me. <laughs> Your parents always trying to teach y'all a lesson. Not having any thieving children. Yeah. Remember orbits? Yeah, orbits gum. I used to eat that <laughs> or chew that. I eat gum. <laughs> but, Sorry, I, I just thought of this friend that I had that always said that woman who was in those commercials. The orbits, oh, the, the orbits. orbits, yeah, the yeah. orbits gun commercials, and, yeah. and he just, he just said he always wanted to just pound her in the ass to get that smile off her face.
Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm trying to remember what move would be good against this floating uh, stingray. Water. Steel is not good against water. Also, metal sound is nothing. Yeah. Alright. Well, we gotta switch. It's a baby stingray. Kill it. Kill it. I'm sorry. Faint it. Make it faint. That was a wild. Wild. I could have captured it. All right. Well, let's try and capture the tentacle. I tried not to kill it, and I killed it. My Pokemon are too powerful. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I'm just going out to sea. <laughs> Pokemon trainer killed as he got on top of his Pokemon and floated out to sea. I was thinking, oh, I won't kill it this time because I didn't do much damage the first time. Wrong. I see land ahead. Oh, that's a cave. The splash plate. I guess we're going in this cave. Sea Spirit's Den. Oh, you know what? I bet you we don't go here yet. It's a Sea Spirit. Because anything about any Sea Spirit. Hey, Doc Frost. How's it going? All right, let's go. Let's go back to the. Uh, there's a town that we missed, so we'll head that way. Are you saying hi to me, Pee Pee Poo Poo, or are you saying hi to Doc Frost? It's been a week. Yes, I agree. Can January be over? It's already January 10th, though. January's already a third over. I'll well, kill it. Okay, we'll, we'll try and capture it here.
We'll use a great ball. We will use a great ball. I hate that. I hate when it does that. Which Pokemon game is next? I believe I have Moon. Let me go look on the... I'll look on the... Uh, Actually, I can look here. I have it on here. Hold on. Uh, did we almost die? Okay. Pokemon Moon. Yeah, which I already have. But we will only play it if you vote for it. So we're going to be doing voting after I finish uh, Pokemon uh, X. So, to vote. Hopefully. What did, what did Arcade Bear say? Anyone remember orbits? Oh, okay. It was not. It was not a pop with tapioca. That was a gum. It was a chewing gum. Definitely a soda drink with gumballs in it. Oh my god. Was I? Well, I know there's like Japanese sodas that have that stuff in it. I think it was just called Orbit. Orbit with a T. Yeah, O R B I T. Oh, Orbit okay. Gong. It wants you to put your birthday in to go to the to, to talk about Orbit's Gong. I guess. Yeah, because it's, it's alcohol. It'll get you drunk. Yeah. Drunk with power. There was Orbit Soda. Oh, okay. I don't remember Orbit's the soda. Soda. A non carbonated fruit flavored beverage. Okay. Of Canada. Okay. Hmm. Then it quickly disappeared due to poor sales. <laughs> Gelatin balls. Mmm, gelatin balls. Care for a sky battle? Sure, I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any flying Pokemon, so... I don't know. I just remember the first time I had bubble tea. Or now, now I've everybody's... I've never had bubble tea. Everybody insists on calling it boba now. Boba? But it's, I have uh, not had boba. But at the time, they just called it bubble tea. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I don't... It's... You know how, like... You and I have talked about like not liking the way corn pops in your mouth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It, that's those what, little, that's those what little balls like. do that. Ew. That sounds terrible. I mean, they're filled with like fruit juice or something, so it gives you a little burst of flavor, but like the, the whole popping is not. Yeah. yeah. I think of something that is good that's that pops in your mouth. Pop rocks, though. We had some pop rocks in our, <laughs> Not in our Christmas stockings, and uh, they were better when we were kids, just because it was interesting, I the, guess. The fake cherry flavor has not aged well. Yeah, yeah, it has not aged well. Over that pops, all of them very much have, are chewy. Interesting. Okay. See, this goes back to me having never had boba. <laughs> I don't know what the experience is like because I haven't had it. All right. I think there's a city, and I just kind of went off on my own. Most Korean bubbles and places. Okay, we'll give you the option. Happy over. Brown sugar. Brown sugar sounds awesome. I thought they used those uh, 
I didn't, think they were, I didn't think they were tapioca. I thought they were... What is it? Uh, okay. Okay. Use calcium chloride, I think. Right, we're going to try and capture this tentacle because I am tired of fighting it. And I'm going to use an ultra ball. Yeah, yeah, that's you get you make them out of sodium alginate and calcium chloride. All right, does anyone want to name the tentacle? Its body is virtually composed of water. It shoots strange beams from its crystal-like eyes. All right, RK, whip me, Daddy. <laughs> right, there you go. approved of that name. <laughs> hey, it's a raid! <laughs> hey, CJ! Welcome, everybody! I pause it? Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Perky Daisy? Welcome! <laughs> You're playing some Fortnite? How's it been going? Yeah, doing well, doing well. We're playing some Pokemon X, which, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm not a po I may wear a hat and look like I'm a Pokemon master, but I am not. I'm making my first way, my first playthrough, and I have a, I have a couch full of Pokemon back there, um, but I'm making my first playthrough through all of them. So this is my like seventh or eighth Pokemon game that I've played. So I feel like I do know Pokemon relatively better than I did when I first started. So I actually played a Pokemon Red today. That was the first game I played. You're totally a Pokemon master. <laughs> You're just denying it. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'm getting much better. I can start naming Pokemon now. I am definitely much better than when I started when I played Red uh, last year or the year before. Um, when was that? When did I play Red? All right, now I gotta look. When did I start this Pokemon journey? Pokemon Red. Uh, February 2022, so it's almost been two years. Almost two years. Um, but I, I remember telling y'all like, it's like, I know I, I know. We'll see. Which I, Here's the ones I knew before playing Pokemon. Pikachu. Of course, everyone knows Pikachu. Actually, I'm sure there's people out there who don't know Pikachu. But Pikachu and uh, Squirtle. I knew anything that was memed. Uh, so Squirtle, Snorlax. I knew Snorlax. Uh, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, I probably knew. I knew Finnegan because of our daughter, Izzy. So there was a few things. I, I will admit I knew a little bit about Pokemon, uh, but I didn't know what it was like. It's basically I, what I have to say is it's an RPG where you where you capture your party members. <laughs> well, thanks. I, thank you, everyone, for coming over. Thank you, CJ, for the raid. Um, yeah, this is basically what we're doing. And I guess what's also interesting is I play it on. I try to play games on original hardware as much as possible. So uh, we're playing this on a DS, which I think is is cool. <laughs> that I can do that is cool. Which Pokemon in number one in the Pokedex? Oh, what is po number one? Who's the god Pokemon? See, this is why I'm not a Pokemaster. I would say number one is not, not, I would say it's one of the starters. And I'm going to say it is Squirtle. 
Is it Squirtle? But, I mean, we can find out. Here, we're gonna find out. I would assume it's always the same. You know, from region to region. Oh, yeah, it's Chespin. Who was one of the starters, right? Oh, no, Chespin is one of the starters for this one. Right? Because Finnegan is, is the starter for this one, and so there's all the evolutions for that. So are you saying the starter from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the starter for the current game, so it sounds like the numbers are all different for each Pokemon. Yeah, and a national index, I see. Oh, is that what the other Pokedex is? By the way, it looks weird looking at it like that. I do have a, I have a little DS screen. Oh, I see. One's the coast and one's the inland. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let's, let's play a quick clip uh, from C. Jarno's stream and y'all should go give him a follow. Go give him a follow. And thanks again for uh, bringing your community over here. Oh, That's the five dollar thing you were talking about, right? It's gone. Um, Wait, exactly this is not Warzone. I mean, that, that probably unless Warzone looks thing. a lot like, I think. Uh, like to just uh, PGA Tour doing, golf or whichever golf game yeah. this is. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Just set up a screen. Oh my god! Oh, look at that chip. That was clips. good. I see everything. There you go. I can do that. I have. That's a good shot. I ziggled that. Fuck yeah. Pussy. Eagle <laughs> two, bitch. I have multiple cameras. I can set that up. <laughs> what was the uh, what yeah, which game was, was that? Which golf game was that? Screens. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't have all those screens. Oh, it was. It was two K. Course builder's really cool. Actually talked like that. <laughs> well, thank you again for the raid. I understand if you need to take off because uh, you just ended your stream, so. But thank you. Welcome everybody. We have a Bulbasaur evolution, which I can't remember the name of that. <laughs> oh man! All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. Answer who? Oh yeah. Oh, number one in the the global Pokedex. Yeah. Who who is number one in the global Pokedex? And also, who's the Poke God? It's your mom. It's your mom. That's it. Uh, uh, could have seen that coming actually. Bulbasaur. Oh, okay, Bulbasaur. There you go. What did I say? I said Squirtle, didn't I? Arcarus. Okay. Is the poke uh, the Arcarus is God. Alright, so that that makes sense of what the uh the, what that game, the Pokemon game. Pokemon Arcarus, which is on my list. Le Pokemon Legends Arcarus, and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Is it Arcarus? Ar <laughs> You're saying it's it's Ar Jesus. I have it. I have it. So the, the the four remaining games I have on the list are Moon, Sword or Shield, uh, Arcarus, and Violet. And I already have Violet. Uh, I already have Moon. <laughs> Arceus. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay. Yeah. Everyone says it differently. I've we've we've talked about this before, and yeah, I've gotten answer different answers from different people. Okay, we finally got off the water. Oh, look at that, and we're in the city. The city was literally right here. Oh, we just got a we just got a phone call. Does it look better if I go into DS screen mode? I guess it's about the same. I do like that I can move the... See how if I move the DS, it, it moves? <laughs> A soft C, yeah. Oh, I say, if you want to come here, uh, someone mispronounce every name in the game, come, this is the stream for that. Uh, J Fries, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Uh, prepare yourself. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Get all these boats. When I was a child, I saw a Pokemon trainer with a great Ampharos in Azure Bay. That's great for you, bots. Let's bust into this house. Well, if it isn't a traveling trainer, it must be terrible walking all over the place like that. Not so bad. Please don't take anything that my wife says to heart. Your youth is simply too much for us older folk uh, who've lost the adventuring spirit. Gave me a silk scarf. I used to buy silk scarves all the time for my wife, but I think they would do more good for someone like you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They've obviously been married quite a while. Ha <laughs> That's Link. Link would just bust into your house and start breaking shit. Uh, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a super. Uh, it's a sumptuous scarf that boosts the power of normal moves. There you go. So we could give it to. What is. Um, what is Hodor currently holding? He is holding the black belt. That's right. Which, that isn't really even... That's for fighting moves. He doesn't have any fighting moves anymore. But yeah, we're going to give him... Well, we're going to give it to the Snorlax. And we will give the fighting <coughs> to... Not Snorlax. Oh my god. Annoying. Uh, to Poyo Loco. Oh, he has the King's Rock. <clears throat> What's the King's Rock? An item to be held by a Pokemon when the holder is six so inflicts damage the target may also flinch. Oh. Well, we'll give it the Tyrant because he's not holding anything. I wonder if he came with that because I did not remember giving him that. But sometimes they come with stuff. Thanks for your silk star. It, it, it pays to just bust in on people. I've, I've traveled around the world and collected many different kinds of incense. What? What is all this shit? An item to be held by a Pokemon. It helps keep wild Pokemon away if the holder 
Ah, uh, okay. Well, screw that. I don't want Pokemon to go away. I want, I want to see all the Pokemon. I want to fight all the Pokemon. A wandering young trainer, are you? Let me guess. You wish to fish for all the Pokemon in the water, right? I'm sure you do. Shall I lead, lend you a rod? I'm a fishing fanatic, and I've collected more good rods than I could ever use. Sure. Uh, which one? The the King Rock. It said it said it was a a, a move. Yeah. And I've got a rod. I never use the rod, but what's going on at the Kalos power plant? I heard the electricity from Lumino City is getting lower than usual. We need to go to the power plant and help people. My Magikarp is so cute when it eats Poke Puffs with gusto. Watch it eat them uh, made me go off my diet again. Okay. Bust in another house. <laughs> Murray. <laughs> oh, it's the inn. Welcome to the to Cor Cormarine Hotel. Oh, you know who it's time to go see, right? It's the guy with the O power. Don't you, and I don't mean Murray. Uh, don't you lo just love it when you have something in common with a celebrity? <sighs> yes. I'm just like Ramos. I always keep a, a go goat with me, too. <laughs> what? Did you know that the famous movie star Diantha comes to this hotel often? Imagine if I could stay in the room she always uses. Ooh, I might get a taste of what it's like to be a star. Okay. Don't have to be a star. Some gang of goons calling themselves Team Flair is out and about causing a bit of ruckus. No good could possibly come from associating with such delinquents. Bring a Pokemon that you've used, uh, that, uh, that you're really friendly with, and I'll give you something nice. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm, uh, you frighten me, so I'm going to run away from you. Who are you? This is my first vacation in such a long time. She looks like she's, uh, like from the farm or something. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Everyone gets a bit, uh, absent-minded. <laughs> it's like I almost couldn't, could almost couldn't read that word at times, and that goes for both Pokemon and people. To help prevent such absent-mindedness, I'll give your Pokemon a careless ribbon. Yeah, Mr. Creepy. On your party. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. There's no telling what kind of wacky things can ha happen. When that happens, it's best to just admire a careless ribbon and enjoy yourself. What the hell is a careless ribbon? No idea what she gave me. Oh wait, you said put put Izzy at the front. <laughs> it's not him. It's the game director. Ah, you're working on your Pokédex. Come show it to me as you fill it up. Okay. Oh, talk to her again? There's no... Oh, the one downstairs. Got it. Yeah. 
I can tell that you're a very kind trainer by looking at how happy Delphox is uh, to be with you. Since you're so friendly with your Pokemon, I'm going to give you this lucky egg. Give one of your Pokemon a lucky egg, and it will earn slightly more experience points than usual. Oh, that's right. I remember lucky egg. I have gotten Poke lucky egg before. All right, so let's move. We're going to swap that again. And then, see, but then he won't be able to mega evolve. <clears throat> that's okay. All right, let's get out of here. So Mr. Creepy was not, not there. We need, to, we need to find, where's the Pokey Center? Yeah, I've had, I've had Lucky Egg before or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Lucky Egg. <laughs> where, where is, what does this, the city is confusing. I wish I could talk with my Pokemon and ask them how they want to be raised. Wait, no, this is just going back. What kind of city is this? There's nothing to your city. Did we talk to her? Totally random TM quiz. <laughs> Do I like monorails? I mean, I have been on the monorail at Disney. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, did I not go far enough swimming? If you give me a correct answer, whoa, I'll give you a TM. You want to try the quiz? Sure. All right, here's the question. What's the move that I'm describing? This move prevents the target from using its held item. Oh my god. It's an embargo. Correct, correct, correct. Pew. Pokey Master. Pokey Master. Embargo? Yeah. Who runs Barter Town? Yeah. <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you a TM. I don't have to expect, explain what kind of move it is, correct? <laughs> of course, she gives me embargo. <laughs> Which I never thought was a very good move, though. See, I told you, Pokemon Master. So do I need to go? Well, here, let's go in here. Oh, it's Mr. Sycamore. Why, hello, J Fries. Congratulations, I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? And why are the, there uh, examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this mean, does this make you think of something like Kalos's legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe it, that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The, the, the more you know, the more there is to research. It's so true. <laughs> the, the excitement never ends, does it? He does like his research. He does. <laughs> I came here to give you this. 
Oh, he's going to give me something. Fly! He gave me fly. I don't know if I have anyone who can use fly. Use the HM fly to pop right over to Pokemon centers of places you've already visited. Well then, J-Prize. Diantha, I hope to see you both again soon. There he goes. He's off. <laughs> it's the bond of the Pokemon. That's why you can't uh, a nearly caught Mon. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it would be funny. He can swim. He can fly. Snorlax can do anything. Mons, they really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting... Oh, I forgot this was the actor lady. When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, it might be. It's the same for Pokemon, people or Pokemon. I accidentally hit, hit a button. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle the next we meet, shall we? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> She's a very much of a method actor. That's true. What is going on with the screen? It's not, it's updating at a very slow frame rate. That's what's throwing me off. Okay, let's, um, here. Oh, I think I remember how to fix this last time. We, I think we exited the game. Be back. No, it's still really slow. All right, let's um, let's save. You know, we were gonna. I was gonna take a break soon anyway, so that's what we'll do. And I'll figure out why it's running at three frames a second. I did. I just saved. <laughs> but thank you for looking out for me because I almost didn't save. <laughs> All right, let me let me boot up Fry's Quest. Let me turn off the audio. I'm gonna save again just in case. Saved your life, exactly. HMOs, okay. Dragonite is, okay. Uh, anyone new want to play or should I unlock it? Do I need to unlock it? Any new players? It's a call for new players. Otherwise, I will unlock it here in a few seconds. Well, there you go. <laughs> and Flaming Welcome Baguette is in. Deals. We're fresh out of lore. Yeah, if you if you played last game, you can go ahead and go in. There were no new players. Still running really slow. I'm just gonna reset the. Those whole monsters thing. stole me lucky charms. Ready for battle. Really? With those shoes? You've got to be kidding me. Ready for action. Ah. Ready for battle. Join, join. <laughs> well, hopefully I can finish up beards tomorrow if I have the time. And then uh, we can, uh, then, yeah, and then you'll have beard options if you would like. In the today is a good day to fry on your characters and skin tone and glasses
<laughs> Does he now? <laughs> yeah, didn't we color? Didn't we do something like that? We did a command like that, didn't we? Oh, what was the command we did? Yeah, we we did um cube color green. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know who my husband is? Get out of here. <laughs> I forgot we we added that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we added that after the uh the hair color yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> i'll talk to, i'll be right back see you in a second Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else are you gonna go? Those monsters stole me lucky charms! Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Close. Get out of here.
Welcome to Neil's Deals. We're fresh out of lore. Today is a good day to fry. Those monsters stole me lucky charms. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready, Ready for, for battle. battle. Shops closed. Have fun counting sheep. I need a backup Coke. Neil's getting me a Coke. I thought I had, a, had enough in this one. Didn't get a new one. I was wrong. Let's see who gets the fried chaiso. 34%. There you go. There you go. I need a backup Diet Coke. That is correct. A backup Diet Coke. <laughs> I like seeing those percentages. So it looks like Cobra Vin, maybe the next time you play, uh, you will be able to win a fry. And welcome back, Sap. All right. I have fixed the frame rate problem. So we should be good to go. Thank you. <laughs> so nice to me. 
There, that's much better. That's 35 frames per second. Okay. Oh wait, I still don't know where to go. Yeah, you had buffalo hot wings. No. You know what? I actually don't like buffalo hot wings. I like uh, I like hot wings, but I usually get teriyaki or barbecue. I don't get. I don't like the bu buffalo sauce. So we had chicken. <laughs> Even the movie star Diantha rides the monorail. Visitors always have a one-track mind about it. How's that for a one-liner? <laughs> can we just ride the rail? No, we can get on the monorail. Yeah, you enjoy Teraki ones too. Yeah, like if I'm going to the uh, wing place. Uh, welcome, will you be riding the monorail? Oh, I thought we were going to have to pay. <laughs> Here we go. We're on the monorail. <laughs> monorail! 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 <laughs> wow, are we already there? I thought we were going to see the countryside. That was quick. <laughs> My, oh, metronome. Oh, they gave me metronome. I I, I don't remember metronome not being a very good uh, power or move. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'm misremembering what metronome is. <laughs> Outrun the flash. It seemed like it could. It's what? An item to be held by a Pokemon, it boosts moves used consecutively. Ah, okay. I see. I thought it was a move for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I do sometimes, but I don't... I don't remember. Why, hello, little Pokemon. Oh, it's a person. Which do you think is cooler, Pokemon or monorails? Don't make me decide that, little girl. You're evil. I think both Pokemon and monorails are cool, but monorails are cool because you can see really far away while on board. Unless you're on this monorail in which you mystically just move to the next city. Random move in anything. That's what it is. Yes. So I'm not going crazy. Thank you, Book Slap. <laughs> All right, so where are we? meant to do this. Oh. Were we there? No. Oh, so we just we just moved we just monorailed over to the other half of the city. That's really boring. <laughs> if you haven't ridden the monorail here in Disney World, it's pretty cool. Because it goes inside the hotel. When it goes inside the hotel, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Are you talking about in the contemporary? Yeah, it goes into the contemporary hotel. Yeah. 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 Isn't that cool? That's neat. <laughs> yeah. D well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and yes, be warned. Disney is an expert at separating you from your money if you go to Disney World. So it is not cheap. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Book Slap. Have a good night. Only Disneyland. Uh, so in 2018, when we visited Los Angeles, uh, we went to Disneyland for the first time. And a friend of ours tried to kill us by having us be there all day and all night and making us go back and forth between Disneyland and California Adventure. 
who were there from o'clock in the morning and at night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it took a, me two. It days was a to long recover. day. Say it again. It took me two days to recover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we were a ten day trip. We spent uh, five days in Los Angeles and five days in Palm Springs. It was weird how small Disney. Yeah, yeah. Well, compared to Disney World. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. See the characters. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that at any of the parks. Uh, we used to, we used to they've gotten too expensive now, but we used to have um, uh, season passes to Disney World, but it just became they priced this out. You had to like reserve the day you were going, and it was just a pain. When we started it, yeah, it was like when I had moved down here about. You need to speak about, up. Hmm? Speak up. It was about. 10 years ago uh, and when I had moved down here and they were about, I don't know, $300, $350 a year. Yeah. Um, and now they're like $1,300 a year and they have a bunch of blackout dates. Yeah, where you can't go. Yeah, it's... yeah. I mean, it used to just be you could go whenever. like we need to go to some sort of power plant have season passes it's like i can yeah, remember just, we would yeah. we would go down there we would be down that way and we would be like let's go watch the fireworks yeah yeah we'd be because we live on the other side of town from disney world which is smart because you don't want to be near the tourists and um yeah we'd be on that side of town and we like hey it's eight o'clock fireworks got off at 9.30, I can't remember exactly when. And let's just go. And we would just go for the fireworks and then leave. And that was it. You know, because the fireworks are awesome. You can sit there and watch everyone do this. Yeah. Imagine this Everybody is Everybody watches iPad. them through their through yeah. their own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I've joked for years that they need to build another another magic kingdom next to the magic kingdom uh so they can take the number of people that come in yeah yeah because it's just too big the, you know the best times i've had are when we go to the special events like we would go to mickey's not so scary halloween and they limit the number of people who can go in and there's the lines aren't as long yeah or the christmas one or the Christmas one. Uh, yeah. Mickey's not so Christmas Christmas. <laughs> not so merry not so merry Christmas. Not so merry. Uh, I think it was like his Christmas party. I think it was just Christmas party or something. Saying what Universal Studios Hollywood uh Well, I never so yeah. I'm I never fit into the rides you know. Yeah, that's the big problem. Um, yeah. So you going to Universal isn't a super lot of fun. Yeah. And it's always so goddamn So goddamn what? Busy. Busy. So many people. I thought you were gonna say humid. Well, I mean there's that too, but that would yeah. also be at Disney World or anywhere else. Yeah. Out of the front door. Well, you know we're going to uh Super Mario World when <laughs> It may not be for a while. We may actually have moved. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Who knows when we'll move. This house is boring. I have declared y'all boring. Apparently your Pokemon dream when they're tucked in with game sync. Amazing. That guy. This guy. So those egg-like things that are found at the Pokemon daycare, strictly speaking, they're not eggs. They're more like Pokemon Cradle. Okay. Now 
why I'm busting in and talking to all these people. Move to the Bay Area. We're probably not moving to the Bay Area. That's expensive. Yeah, we've come to the realization because we we haven't lived in California. Our retirement money <laughs> is only gonna like go so far, and it's not gonna go far enough. Yeah, we've never earned to California. live in. We've never earned California money, so we can't retire in California. Because, like, we have friends that have a, ha a place in Palm Springs, and that would be okay, but buy in Palm Springs. Yeah, it would be very expensive. Move to Ohio. <laughs> you hear it's cheap. <laughs> but then you're in Ohio. <laughs> I haven't spent a lot of I'm time joking. in Ohio. I, I have can't really been in Ohio. <laughs> say, I'm from Virginia. Yeah. I think we'll end up in Virginia. That's my, that's my guess. But we, I, we haven't really talked about it yet. <clears throat> I think we need to go. Is this the power plant over here? It is. I have a feeling we need to somehow get to that power plant. going on here Alaska's cheap yeah but you're in, again you're in Alaska that would be quite a ways out there what is this oh, nine month long cruise what that's gotta be expensive. Are you sure nine months? Not nine weeks? Still nine weeks is long. The Vegas area can be reasonable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love, that's the first time I've done surf with Hodor and I love it. He causes the wave. It is nine months long. Oh wow, I haven't seen it on TikTok, but now now that we've said it, I will see it on TikTok. I forgot we should be trying to capture this. Moved into the ground. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna live there nine months, that's crazy. That seems expensive as well. Because, uh, Cruises are expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I gotta Google that now. How how much how much is the nine month cruise? Wow, I didn't even have to finish the Google. It knew what I was talking about. The ultimate world cruise, starting from sixty thousand, sixty thousand dollars per person. Wow! Holy crap! <laughs> wow. Okay, let's look at this. Royal Caribbean announces nine-month round-the-world cruise, 150 stops. What? 274 nights, 150 spots around the world. Where does it start? Okay, it starts in Florida, and it goes all the way down to Rio de Janeiro... Argentina, around whatever the bottom Cape part Horn. of South America is, up to Peru, and then you go to Los Angeles. And, <laughs> and then you kind of go by Hawaii, stop in, I guess, Australia, up the coast through Indonesia, up to Japan, over to Beijing, over to India. Uh, Jordan. Wow, you go up the canal. 
uh, wow, I go to Egypt, Rome, yeah, up to Finland, <laughs> and around, and over to Iceland, back to Greenland, and then back to Florida. Wow. Wow. It's like a long damn time. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's definitely something you do if you're rich and retired, I guess. <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry. Right in the middle of a fight, too. I was going to try and capture this thing. <laughs> Only two people caught COVID. I didn't think about that. If you caught COVID. Yeah. Wow. Wow, we caught it. I can't believe we caught it. It's a, a trap inch. A trap inch. Who wants to name the trap inch? It lives in arid deserts. It makes a slopping pit trap in the sand where it, it, plint, it patiently awaits prey. Who did it? Zab. Jeff. <laughs> All right. It is named Jeff. <laughs> oh, is your name Jeff? Pokemon around here will pop out at you. Maybe the electricity from the power plant has something to do with it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's from the Jump Street movie, okay. <laughs> and call it Jeff. A different Jeff, different spelling of Jeff. Oops, I didn't mean that. Pulled the wrong one. Although I guess I guess that's still good. That's not gonna hurt me. Mega evolution. Not take my razor leaf. Uh, it avoided the attack. It avoided the attack. It needs to accept its fate. I agree. <laughs> uh, thanks for following. Um, I have my follow alerts be anonymous in case you just want to lurk. Watch me uh, send giant surfs of water using my Snorlax to kill things. I'm sorry, to faint things. <laughs> Assume I'm just. Oh my god, it keeps attacking me. <laughs> oh, it's a different one. It's a gibble. I've never heard of a gibble. Or maybe I have. It's frightening. We're gonna punch it. So maybe we can capture it. Not Pokemon. I'm gonna try a great ball. Ah. 
It's like I, I find myself holding my breath. <laughs> Alright, who wants to name the gibble? It nests in horizontal holes warmed by geothermal heat. Foes who get too close can expect to be pounced on and bitten. <laughs> Who wants the name Gibble? <laughs> Out of stock. Yeah, what do you want to name it? I figured Flaming Baguette was buying it for you. I was going to say, I don't think it has a out of stock. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> I kind of expected that. <laughs> going and maybe we'll run into it. Trainer tips. Electric type Pokemon are immune to paralysis. I did not know that. Oh. Oh, great. I feel like when you capture them, it should, like, no longer be there. You've captured it, so it warns all the other ones away. Oh, I can't switch out. What? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, none of these moves seem to be any good. He must have a big evasion or something. <laughs> well, we are here to entertain, Sab. I would be sad if you, you said, you make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not Pokeballs. Not Status Restore. Oh my god. Uh, let's use a Hyper Potion. I said what I said. <laughs> Alright, let's go. How do we... Oh, I see. Up. I love pee pee up. <laughs> it, I didn't mean that. All right, rock smash that. You know, I don't. I need to relearn rock smash. Oh shit! There's rock smash. Wait. 
Hold on. <laughs> Acid reflux. Wow. How about Pokebucks? Do you take Pokebucks? Um, Rock Smash is a fighting move. So we could get... Why don't we give it to... um. Angda. Uh, because he has terrible moves right now. Uh, sword dance, a uh, frantic dance to uplift fighting spirit. Metal sound, a horrible sound like scraping metal harshly loses the special defense. And then this, okay. Uh, let's get rid of metal sound, I guess. Although sword dances, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. You have a rock. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Of course, I would get attacked. It's a Graveler! Do they still explode and kill you? Oh, I forgot they gave us Fly and we didn't teach it to anybody. We should look at that. Oh, Quake. Hodor. Oh, of course he has 30. Great. He's like, I create my own earthquakes when I walk around. Oh, so. Oh, that's good. Poyo Loco can learn fly. We're gonna, we're gonna hop on the back of the luchador and he's gonna take us, uh, the places. Um, this fly is pretty good. It's 90. Wow. So I'm thinking wing attack, actually. Wing attack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to go down here because I saw it. I don't even know what this is. I'm just going this way because I feel like it. I see a Pokeball. Charge Beam. Ooh. No one can learn it. It's an electric. We don't have any electric Pokemon. No. Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't matter. That's it. 
I guess that's the only reason we came down here. That. Those Team Flare people in those red suits, nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group wearing garish outfits like that. Okay. Oh, and here they are. Speaking of which, <laughs> I'm stylishly looking for something to, I can join the mission at the power plant. If you want me to lend a stylish ear, come back when you have four badges. Ooh. Oh, so maybe we've gone too far. Maybe there's a, a badge we need to go get. The last city. Was there was there a I didn't see a gem there. <laughs> oh look it's a it's a Doug trio. <laughs> These are so funny. Neil, what do you think of these Pokemon? Oh, like they got like, is that, is that a nose? Oh, I couldn't hear you. Do you remember those things on the Herculoid? Yeah, <laughs> the little, yeah, the little uh, blob people. Yeah, they're yeah. the they're the things from the Herculoids. Yeah, yeah. so much okay right said Fred oh I can't switch out again what is with not being able to switch out uh gloop and gleep gloop and gleep were the uh protoplasmic creatures on the herculoids <laughs> in a sand tomb. Well, I guess I should have captured it. There must have been a gem in this one, and I just immediately ran away. I'm like, I'm not going to search this city. Funny too, because I always sort of mix up in my head the Herculoids and Thunder the Barbarian. Thunder the Barbarian, yeah. Thunder the Barbarian was cool because it was like on Earth, but a comet had gone near the Earth and like, like the, brought the, the moon brought too the close moon too and it close. split apart or something. Yeah, the Earth yeah, yeah. split apart. <laughs> How's it going, Green Bear? Zork the, the laser dragon? <laughs> Was that in the Herculoids? I think so. Yeah. Oh look. I think I think I think somebody there is doing Thundercats, but that's not the same thing. Yeah, Thunder that's a different different Well, I grew up watching uh Thundercats. Hey Murray, how's it going? Uh, we played, uh, we met Murray the Fisherman, and he only had, he had six of the, um, 
Magikarps. the power of flying moves. I mean... I hate... I hate all the item... uh... organization. All the 80s cartoons. <laughs> well, we, we're big Transformers fans in the 80s, too. We we make fun of Neil crying at uh, when Optimus Prime died in the uh, and it, in the Transformers. Alert, if you haven't seen the Transformers the tra movie, the Transformers movie. Yeah. Yes, I did cry in the movie theater when they killed Optimus Prime in the Transformers movie. It was 1986. I was 11. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> there, look, Green Bear is on your side. He also cried. I don't remember crying. And, and I watched all, all the 80s cartoons. Uh, I watched, you know, Transformers and the Herculoids, which the Herculoids came back in 81, evidently. Um, I watched the Transformers show religiously. Um, you know, I didn't know it was an ad for a toy. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. Yeah, no, I thought it was too cool too. I didn't really think about it, that you know, then you know, wanting the Transformers toy. So. Yeah, I mean, like I did want the Transformers toy. Yeah, I did but... too. I bet you you probably didn't have too many Transformers growing up. I had a lot. No, I didn't have very many because they yeah. were expensive. Yeah, they were expensive. Uh, I I cried when they started doing the live action Transformers movies because they were so terrible. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's the rape and pillage of my childhood. Wow, Green Bear, you still have all I have I have Optimus Prime and Megatron. I have Megatron that turns into a gun. <laughs> I don't have And I, I had have... I had Shockwave, but I don't have that anymore. Anymore? I'm surprised. I might Are you that, sure? In that I thought you I'm have it. Pretty in sure Neo's I childhood don't. doesn't have in the box that's Neil's childhood, I think I have some Dark Transformers, screen. but I don't think I have that one. Yeah. I think I broke it when I was a kid. No, oh, it wasn't Shockwave, was it? No, you had the gun one. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it was called. I have some of the uh, comics, the early comics. I have my, I still have my Voltron, which is, you know, stands about uh, yay big and has all the lions that individually come together and snap, snap in. I was a big Voltron fan too in the 80s. Yeah, you should. Uh, the the new one that's on uh, Netflix is really good too. You want to see Mega Evolution? Here she goes. It's a deck archetype. Okay.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, Murray likes to remind us that he was born in the 90s as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. I yeah. was born in the. We were both born in the seventies. Yeah, I had I had shockwave. Shockwave. It was shockwave. The, the purple gun. Yeah. yeah, the purple gun. Yeah. I was thinking. I was talking about sound wave. Yeah. Um. No, I didn't have. I remember Voltron being on, but I didn't have any Voltron. Yeah. That, yeah that's all I had with uh, the lions. Oh, born in eighty six. For some reason, I thought you were born in the nineties. Oh well. No, he was a kid in the 90s. And in the 90s, yeah. Uh, You were also you were born in the game, playing back. Okay. <laughs> well, the Transformers have been on in one form or another for every decade, I think. Just kind of depends on what version of the Transformers, right? We're we're all OG. <laughs> yes, yes, we were all. We we had you know. The Ark coming down onto Earth millions of years ago yeah. Yeah. and being awoken by a tremor. <laughs> and they were all different things because that's what the computer found in the environment. Right. That's right. Yeah. Now, how did they find so dinosaurs like the... for the Dinobots? Oh, no, that, was, that was later. Fossils, right. That was later. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the reason that some of them were guns was that's what the computer probe found. Oh, okay. It found guns and it found a a, a boombox and made sound wave and you know I mean it was <laughs> weird. <laughs> worry seed. A seed that causes worry is planted on the target. It prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. Okay. like a weird weird move <laughs> it's weird to think that the guy who wrote the transformer episodes for pitched yeah you're cutting in and out neil well yeah you keep adjusting everything <laughs> do i need to turn up your volume again i don't know he wrote episodes for happy days dragon claw Okay, this is a pretty good one. An 80. I don't like Bide. I'm thinking of getting rid of Bide. Worry Seed is a competitive move? Okay. Fight is okay, it's just you have to wait for it to move, happen. And then it n never seems to like, do much damage. Yeah, I just crap. Yeah, there you go. Dragon Claw. She wanted, she wanted to see what Mega Evolution was all about. That's what we're doing. Oh, well, this one will crush this frog.
As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. I received 3,300. Woo! <sighs> what could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? We don't really have enough time to beat this gym. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of go in, maybe f fight the first few trainers and then leave. Because it'll make us fight like four trainers before we can fight the main person. It always seems to do that. How about, uh, how's the bout, little sprout? You got it figured out, right champ? Yep. Old man Ramos, this is Jim, is all about grass. It's simple, right? You see a vine hanging in front of you, and you gra just grab on and hang on for dear life. That's maybe the most important part of all. Oh, <laughs> part of all, right, pal? All right, well, this should be easy. I see. Okay, dead end. Evidently, there was some kid who locked himself in his bedroom for two weeks after seeing the uh, Transformer. So upset. <laughs> yeah. Behold the power of green, the power of nature. <laughs> Oh, a semi-sage? Are you kidding me? Post. Post. <laughs> Shortly before his death, Orson Welles told his biographer, You know what I did this morning? I played the voice of a toy. I play a planet. I menace somebody called something or other. Then I'm destroyed. My plan to destroy whoever it is is thwarted, and I tear myself apart on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, his voice was so weak by that point. That's why it's all synthesized, is they had to run it through a synthesizer to salvage it, basically. Oh, wow. Uh... He, he laid the tracks down, and then he died five days later. Uh, roll out. Roll out. Autobots? Um, I mean, roll out's cool, but it's like, I don't like it. I think I'm just going to keep what I have. I mean, Lick, but I think I'm just going to keep. Replace Lick, you think? You really think replace Lick? I mean, it is decent, but you really are. I guess, you know, I guess the Izzy has psychic moves. So if I need, you know, go, having a ghost move isn't all that great. How are we doing on time? We are low on time. Can I even get out of here? No, I guess I could just go back down. We'll try one more. Let's go up this one. Oh, but it didn't go anywhere. 
It's like a maze. I'm amazed. That's true, I could just save in the gym. That looks like it goes back down, but I may need to go back down. Because this is like a maze. Yeah. It's Pokemon Ranger Brook. <laughs> Oh, uh, we are going to crush it. I've never seen a, a hit point meter go down faster. Alright, what is this? Knee first. Never heard of knee first. The user cuts ahead of the target to steal and use the target's intended move with greater power. This move fails if it isn't used first. This sounds terrible. comes the flood of tears of regret. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, we'll save here. Plug it in. We will in that stream. <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I will be back Friday. It will be Friday when I see you next. And I actually have Monday off of work, Neil, if you knew that. Do you? Yeah, it's MLK Day here in the United States. Martin well, Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, and uh, yeah. The That's company fine. I work for I, gives us that day off. I have every day off. You currently have every day off, but you should be looking for a job. I am. <laughs> you have a job to find a job. That's your job. Great. <laughs> I have an Yay, unpaid I'm excited. job. I have an unpaid job to find a paying job. Yeah. Thanks, Liberty Me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to move? So Murray says they're hiring. You can move to Ireland. Uh, only if I can work remotely. Yeah, well, I mean, they'll pay his visa to work. In, uh... Yeah, will you sponsor me for a visa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he got laid off a couple weeks ago. So right at the end of the Four year. days after Christmas. Yeah. Not, not very fun. It's not a remote job. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Yeah. All right. What else? Um, be jobless together. There you go. And be jobless twins. Yeah. <laughs> jobless <laughs> twins activate. <laughs> Twinsies. Um, thank you to there. Starting with my husband right there. Thank you, Neil, for being here. 
You're welcome. And thank you to everyone else for being here. And thank you to these subscribers right here, all these names. Uh, welcome. They get ad free viewing and all those emotes and extra gold and experience points and prize quests. As well. Welcome to our home. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for subscribing. As always, you know, you don't have to subscribe. Just hang out. Come here, hang out with us. I appreciate it. And uh, if you want to talk between streams, post funny things, we have a meme channel, we have a chat channel, we have Pokey Chat channel. <laughs> we have all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, just go ahead over to the Discord. Aw, thank you, Murray. And there's our raid messages. Let me copy that message. If I don't do it right now, I will forget. All right, let me check and see who we could win. Someone is playing Minesweeper on Twitch. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We're not we're not we're not raiding the person playing Minesweeper. Oh crap, as started. Sorry. Well. Well, I guess what Justice is still on. Let's just go check him out. Uh Oh my god, what is he doing? He's playing Lethal Company and wearing some sort of wig. So I guess we'll have to go over and say hi to the Gigglepuss gang. I have to raid Minesweeper. I don't know who that person. It's his birthday stream, so we should probably raid him. Let me check out this Minesweeper. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I don't follow them. I don't know much about them. But it is, it is funny that they're playing, uh, playing line sweeper. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I just don't know the quality of their content. So, well, no, it's, it's Justice's birthday. So we should, we should read it. All right, this channel is intended for mature audiences. Viewers' discretion is advised. <laughs> I like saying that anytime we go to a mature, mature stream. Well, thank you again, everyone, for being here. I hope you have a great week ahead, and I hope to see you back uh, on Friday. Stranger danger. <laughs> we do. I do. I do that occasionally, and actually, it's good to. to I try to support small streamers as much as possible. So. Usually I, I try to follow people who do similar things that I stream and then I try to kind of spread the love. Uh, but I've, uh, uh, the Gigglepuss gang justice has been a subscriber to this channel for a long time. His name scrolled by. And so, yeah, I think it's also my 20 month, 27 month sub anniversary. So I'll probably be doing that too. So, but again, thank you everyone for being here. I hope you have a great week. Stranger Dangers. <laughs> it totally was. Anyway, thanks everyone for being here. Love you all. Bye. Bye.